You're listening to the 10-Minute Podcast Challenge that will prove every place is the same. Welcome your host, the irreverent, the cosmopolitan, the wicked, Daniela Vlaskalik. Hello, and welcome to Every Place is the Same. I am enchanted with my next guest, Tessa Sharp, the author of Provoke, the Art of Transformative Facilitation. Hello, Tess. Hi, Daniela. Now, you have been to the Republic of Singapore. Yes, I have. Many times. Tell me a little bit about Singapore. How does it look? How does it smell? How does it feel? What resonates with you about Singapore? Okay. When you walk off the gangplank from the flight, the first thing you are hit by is the green and botanical and damp air. Uh, Singapore uh, Airport has its own unique smell that is just... Every time I walk in, I just know we have landed in Singapore. Singapore is known as the garden city. And the reason I love it is because everywhere has greenery and trees and plants. So it's green. It's lush. You love it. You love the smell. You love the flowers. You just you just bask in it. I bathe in it. Love it. Okay, let's talk about another place that you've been to. Barcelona, Spain. Give it to me. Barcelona is amazing. It is the artist's vibrant city. If you've ever heard of the work of Gaudi, which I never had until I went there, it is everywhere around the city. The architecture, the colours, the artwork, the gardens. The gardens. The gardens that Gaudi designed are unlike anywhere you will go anywhere in the world. They are incredible. Love it. So, Tess, would you say that Singapore and Barcelona are the same? They are, except for one thing, and that is that they speak Spanish in Barcelona. In Singapore, predominantly, it's English. So, two places that you feel are the same. Kind of. Okay, well, today on Every Place is the Same... We are going to prove that the Republic of Singapore and Barcelona, Spain are in fact the same. Okay, I'm up for it if you are. Let's get transformative. Here we go. Tess, let's talk life expectancy. Okay. Now, when you think of life expectancy, what do you think of? People expecting to have life. A long life. Hopefully, yes. Singapore has the longest life expectancy in the world. Really? Why do you think that is? Well, I think it's the sunshine. I think it's the great food. I think it's the greenery. Barcelona. Spain, did you know, has the highest life expectancy in Europe? Well, that's because of of the artwork. You know, Gaudi's influence. What age do you think that that is? Ooh, longest life expectancy. Uh, 92? 83. Ah. 83, Tess. Nice drive. (laughs) Two places in the world that have the longest life expectancy. Remarkable. Let's talk gardens. Okay. Talk about your favorite gardens. You You talked about gardens by the bay in Singapore. My favorite gardens in Singapore are the botanic gardens. Describe them for our international listeners. They are the most amazing gardens. They're large. You can spend two, three... Hours a, wor- a UNESCO World Heritage Site, yes? Yes, I believe so. The variety of trees is remarkable. And because of the climate, uh, the greenery just grows like crazy there. Let's talk orchids. Okay. They have an orchid garden in the Botanic Gardens, which is remarkable. Famous orchids named after <coughs> famous people. Uh, you tell me. Diana. Princess Diana. An okay. orchid named after her. She was beautiful enough for that. She certainly was. If you had an orchid named after you, what color would it be? It would be sky blue. Beautiful. Gardens in Barcelona. Tell me about them. Well, I love Gaudi's garden. The interesting thing is it's not so much the greenery, it's the architecture, the mosaic work that Gaudi designed uh, and the incredible archways that he built. Tess, is it easy being green? <sighs> it depends how you, uh, how you define green. How would you define it? I would define it as respecting and loving this planet. 
And that's what we're all about on this show. Tess, to tap us or not to tap us? No, not to tap us. I'm a woman who likes a jolly good plate of food. These little wanky plates are no good whatsoever. Food. Let's move on to food. Hawker centres. Can you explain what hawker centres in Singapore are? Are we talking about the food courts? Yes, we are. We are. The food courts are remarkable. If you want to get really fast, incredibly fresh food that is as cheap as chips, as we say in the UK, then food courts are the place to go. We have all kinds of food, Korean, Indian, Asian, Japanese, Singaporean, normal deli stuff. It is remarkable. It sounds tasty. Absolutely. I'm beginning to get hungry now. La Bucheria. Tell me about what that is. La Bucheria is an incredible market where they do the most amazing seafood, the most amazing cheeses, the most amazing chocolate and desserts. Just about every kind of artisan food you could wish to buy in a Mediterranean climate. It is amazing. Two places where food seems to be at the centre of the culture. Would you agree? Absolutely. If you were a bullfighter or a toreador, what would be your weapon of choice? My weapon of choice would be a bale of hay to feed the bull. Beautiful. Talk to me about the weird laws in Singapore. You talk to me about the weird laws in Singapore, Daniela. Gum chewing. Uh Uh-huh. If you chew gum, if they find gum... If you spit gum on the pavement, $500 fine. (gasps) Oh, my goodness. Have you ever chewed gum in Singapore? Well, if I had, I certainly wouldn't admit it. Flushing. If you do not flush the toilet in Singapore and someone catches you, $150 fine. Mm -hmm. They do do random checks. I would be very worried if someone came into my toilet stall to check whether I was just about to flush the toilet or not. Weird Laws, Barcelona. You cannot name your children Judas or Cain. Well, they're not great names, really, are they? You also cannot name your child Mandarina, which is a fruit. Well, it would kind of be like calling them Satsuma, wouldn't it, really? Has anyone talked to Gwyneth Paltrow about this? Has she called her child Satsuma? Apple. Oh, yeah, that's true. Another law in Barcelona. No throwing of rice at weddings. Damage to the eye? It's the bird's. It's the birds. Do they, do they not like rice? They eat too much of it. They blow up. Fat birds. Fat birds. Correct. Those are outlawed it in can, Barcelona. It can be a problem. Both places have weird rules, don't they? They do indeed. I'm sure they come from a good place. I'm sure they do. The Singapore Sling, invented at the Raffles Hotel. Have you ever had one? It tastes like cough medicine. What are the ingredients? Um, cherry brandy, I know, is one of the ingredients. Pineapple juice. Uh Uh-huh. Quite sweet. Very, very thick. Let's talk signature drinks in Barcelona. Sangria. Cava. Uh Uh-huh. Do you enjoy a good glass of cava? I always enjoy a good glass of cava, Daniela. On a rooftop bar? It's got to be done. Talk to me about your favourite rooftop bar in Singapore. Oh, it's got to be the lantern. The lantern that overlooks the Marina Bay Sands Hotel, the most amazing light show, the most amazing view, the most expensive cocktails. Rooftop bars in Barcelona. Do you know, I must be a rooftop bar virgin for Barcelona. There's a first time for everything, Tess. When you do go to Barcelona next, check out the Terraza Cologne, where they have the Pulitzer Terrace. And there you will have amazing views of the city. And an amazing kava, I hope. A little kava goes a long way. Oh, yes. Tess, we are walking through Singapore. Where are you taking me? I am going to take you to Chinatown. We're going to have a wander around and just take in the noise and the sights and the heat And the number of people that are around, the diversity. And, you know, I am 55 years old. I feel like a fossil when I walk around Singapore. The average age must be 28. Well, you don't look a day over 29. 
Thank you so much. We are in Barcelona. Where are you taking me? I'm going to take you down Las Ramblas, which is the main walking promenade down through the center, down to the sea. It's a most fantastic place for people watching. Whether you want to live long and prosper, whether you delight in gardens or food courts where you can find anything your heart desires, if you're fascinated by odd laws or you just want to quench your thirst with a cava or a Singapore sling, Tess, I think you have helped us prove that the Republic of Singapore and Barcelona, Spain are the same. You just listened to Every Place is the Same, hosted by Daniela Vascalic and directed by Marco Timpano. If you enjoyed this episode, buy Daniela a coffee. Just go to ko-fi.com slash everyplaceisthesame. That's ko-fi.com, everyplaceisthesame. Until the next time, enjoy your travels.